And Chris, how long did you work for Quantel? 33 years. And what exactly did you do? I was a customer support engineer in the Los Angeles area. And when I started in 87, uh, these classic paint boxes, DPP 7000, were all the rage. What, uh, what, what makes the uh, paint box so special in your view? Well, uh, it was originally introduced in 1981, this particular unit, it's probably from the mid 80s. And uh, it was able to achieve really smooth painting and graphics performance with an array of dedicated hardware processing cards, uh, multiple still stores, and uh, which are responsible for all of the graphics rendering and image processing. And they are controlled by a fairly minimal computer over here, uh, a 68,000 uh, running from software in 10 EPROMs over here on the Computer 2 card, which is just a, just a control device for all of the uh, hardware image processing circuitry and obviously an interface from the user uh, from their pen and tablet. And so a fairly minimal computer system uh, was able to uh, achieve really good graphics performance through all of this dedicated hardware. So uh, this is the Computer 1 card with the uh, microprocessor to 68000 which I suppose is the brains of the device, but really it's, it's merely a control interface for the image processing hardware. So uh, this is not really the strength of the machine. Um, that uh, processor runs with uh, a lot of RAM and uh, the operating system is in these 10 512K EEPROMs. So a software update will consist of putting in more updated EEPROMs here. Was this a pretty reliable machine? Yes, it was on the whole. I think the biggest problem was with the disk drive units that uh, it utilised, which were the uh, old SMD drives. Yeah, let me just go and photograph the famous giant washing machine drives. How big are those platters? That is a 14 inch platter, five platters. It stores 330 megabytes. That's oh, it. That's it. And this was broadcast quality, cutting yes, edge at the time. At the time, absolutely. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And how much would this uh, cost you? These ran about a couple hundred thousand dollars, I think. 